guys, Susan Elias here. Today I have a big surprise for you, and this has been a long time coming. My friends at Wolf Dress Form Company have been gracious enough to send me over a draping dress form for me to use in my upcoming videos. I want to unbox it here in front of you to show you all the features that it has and makes it one of the best dress forms you could possibly have today. Wolf Dress Form Company is an American brand. It is made in Brooklyn, New York, and they also have their sister company, Superior, which is their more affordable brand, which is made in the Philippines. Wolf Dress Forms from the past and the present have been this, the greatest dress forms you could have. They are all handmade. And if you're working in the industry or if you're going to one of the universities, chances are you are using one of these dress forms. All the information you will need to purchase and view these dress forms will be in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and slash up here first. And I think what I'm going to do is put it on the flat so that I can pull it out without damaging the front of the dress form. Hey, we have gotten it somewhat open. Okay, I have it on the floor. I've opened the top part of this and I'm lucky because this is the top. I can feel the top of it. I'm gonna pull this thing out. Okay, you never really wanna cut here or anywhere on the front or the back because you could damage this dress form. So I'm hoping I did this right. I'm gonna pull this guy out. I know what, what's going on, so I'm gonna have to cut the back now. Okay, so the bottom, the bottom base is, is connected to another box, it looks like. So, all right, let me open that guy up. Ah. We've got the pedal there, it looks like. Doesn't seem to want to come out. see the culprit. It's another piece that's holding the base. Okay. Really cool that they have this in here. There we go. Alright, it's not going to cooperate so I'm going to have to do some damage to this box. Pull this sucker out. As I cut it through. There we go. Okay, I may be able to pull this guy through. Alright, it's gonna do a little bit more damage to this box. Alright, there we go. So I don't know if you can see what's going on, but there was a second box inside here holding this from being pulled all the way through. Now it looks like I'm just going to bring that able to pull it through now. So I'm just lifting this out. All right guys, I think we got it. Okay, I I stood up the mannequin, um, it's at its longest length because I pulled it too much. Here's the pedal. The one thing you don't want to have happen is this mannequin falls forward and it damages the bus. Then you're out of luck. Um, the pedal is put in and I'll show you that once the mannequin is down uh, because I don't want this mannequin to topple over. Here I am with the dress form. At this point I don't want to use my sharp blade. I'm going to be using a non-pointy uh, uh, shears or scissors to open the rest of this off. So I'm just going to kind of take out. Voila! There is the dress form. Yahoo! Okay, so these are the size measurements on this dress form, and, and let me explain that to you. Okay, here I am with the dress form. 
mannequin. This one is a wolf mannequin. This was, I guess, a custom that maybe there was a problem with and I needed specific measurements and these were the closest measurements to what I needed and wanted. So it's basically saying that the bust is 35 and a half, the waist is 27 and a half, um, the hip, the high hip was 35 and a half, and then the full hip is 38. Um, the only thing I was concerned about was the front, um, the center front to waist measurement because it is a little short waisted, but I think it's going to be fine. I'm just going to use the bottom of the tape for my measurements. And um, let me give you the rundown on this dress form. This is a cast iron top and a cast iron base. It is not a flimsy base. And, and what's great about that is that it, it's sturdy. You know, it holds itself sturdy. And when you push up and down on the pedal, there's not a lot of play, but it locks beautifully. You can't push this down. Some of the other cheaper forms, once you put it up, it's going to be hard. Act, it'll just kind of keep moving. The beauty of the fact that this is shipped all in one probably has a lot to say with why it would not um, jeopardize going up and down. The pedal is um, this one piece and uh, this is all cast iron down here and this bar right here actually is open from here to here pretty much. And so what you want to do is take the pedal and maneuver it over this bar and underneath this you'll have a screw. There'll be a screw and a coil that's attached to the screw. And that is what helps to make the dress form go up or down when you push down on the pedal. Okay, so I wanted to bring the mannequin a little bit closer so you can see hopefully the details that I'm trying to show you. This has little nail heads and very specific points. We have one here at the neckline. We have one here and this is going to show you where you need to have your full bust and also where your apex will level will be um, placed, where you need to put a pin. We also have a nail head here at the waistline tape. We have one here, that's to indicate the high hip. And this one, this lower one here is to indicate the full hip that goes all the way around the butt, like you can see here. We also have a nail head in the back and that's for the shoulder blade level that you need to have that measurement so that you um, can make sure that that's gonna, your garment will fit. This is also, again, to show you where the bust level is, the waist tape, and then um, the high hip, and then the full hip here again. Um, it also is collapsible like this, and you can also push it in again and let it out. And the beauty of that is when you're working on a fitted garment or a couture garment, once the garment is already partially made, it it's, gets very uh, stiff and it, there's, there's no way to sometimes get it on a mannequin without this feature. Also, I wanted it to have a butt. So it has more of a realistic view of what a uh, human body has. It's also nice because it has this little bit of a slope here where some of the other dress forms don't have. And that's also a feature that's, that's really needed in bridal because when you're making bustiers or you're making strapless dresses, the human body does concave in there and it gives you more of a realistic um, view of what the body should be. So it's a really, really good dress form just to go over the features. Let's do that next. The top part, which is cast iron, we have the neck plate, we have the neckline, center front seams, we have princess seam, waistband tape, side seam, princess seams in the back, center back seam, waist tape, this is the arm plate. This is the arm plate screw. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel, which is Susan Elias Couture or uh, Fashion Unfolded. Check out my website, which is SusanElias.com or EliasCouture.com. Ask me a question because you know I'm going to answer it. Thank you. Bye-bye.